Hello, Identity 5 gamers. Today, we're going to continue with the uh, little forest silage event. And then we're going to take a look at the new trait called Wormhole, or at least like that's the placeholder name. I don't know if that's the official name for it, but we're going to take a look at that today. Now, obviously, I do not have access to the test server, but there have been some people who have posted some gameplay footage uh, of this Wormhole ability. So I'm pretty curious to see how it works. Here we are. Next up, we have the forest silage event. Let's uh, do the in check in first. We get um, the A tier accessory little... Uh, Whatever these are, the tryout thingies, awesome. And Vera will do her own thing. The forest always brings us surprises, don't you think? Dang, okay, that was like really basic, but all right. Uh, barmaid, you should have uh, the materials now. You must have a storage jar to store the ingredients brought back by your companions. Uh, I do have one actually, here you go. A long time ago, when my brother and I were making wine in the forest, we found a special plant that had a sweet and amazing... Am I really getting freaking DMs right now, bro? <laughs> <clears throat> we found a plant that had a sweet and amazing taste. A vanilla pod. Okay. Interesting. So that's the first thing of six. I like how they're mysterious ingredients. Ooh. Okay. Um, well, I guess that's all we can do there. Perfume notes. Oh, then we get the, okay, we get a little costume remnants from this. And we send out Victor next. Let's do my preparations here. I can grab these. Awesome. And that's all I can get for today. Let me, uh, let me do Victor here. Oh, there he is. Yo, I love them, dude. They're all so cute. Oh, they're all so teeny. Uh, is someone there? Hey, it's the postman. It's been a while. Yes, the day is just around the corner. Also, wait, he just talks now. He just talks now, and the whole Christmas event, he didn't, he didn't, <laughs> bro was not yapping, but now he's yapping all the time, what? Where's Wick? Oh my gosh, dude. Uh, do you mean Ashen Day? That's great. I thought I was the only one who remembered. Not a chance. It's an important pact. Then again, I heard that the tree... That's right, if you literally look right behind you, idiot, it's broken. <laughs> Three years ago, we made a pact to celebrate Ashen Day again. Now that the uh, ash tree is gone, I wonder if everyone would still come. Oh, right. Where's your dog, Wick? Uh, where's your dog, Wick? Has he gone off to the next village already? Hmm. Even if he's gone over there, there won't be any new mail. A few more of those, uh, those of the residents in that town have moved away. It's really disheartening. People relied on this forest for their livelihood, building towns, taverns, and factories. But now... Even clean water sources have uh, become a problem. I'm sorry. I'll be leaving as well. What? I thought you loved this place. I do. In the past, Wick and I delivered mail together, and the town was busy. But people will all leave someday. What's the point of a postman staying behind then? Aw. People's homes are destroyed. It's only natural that they leave. However, if the sound of your bells is gone, this forest will become quieter still. Flustered. I'm sorry, I... I'll really miss this place. Farah, if everyone's going to leave, my friend can offer you some inspiration at least before Ashen Day. I'm sure everyone has something they want to remember. This is such a depressing event, what the heck? If it's not too much trouble, that's great. Of course! I'm sure he will be happy to help. Let me think. Maybe I'll find a befitting plant sent for him hidden in this town. Gotcha. Oh, here we go. I guess we're going off to the town then. Uh, other than looking for ingredients, what else can I do? Okay, follow the plan and come back as soon as you've got what you need. Visit perfume shops in town and find inspiration. Hmm. Let's see here. Well, if people are all leaving, we might as well, like visit the shops before they leave even if it is just to find inspiration but like i don't know i feel like visiting them one last time would be nice i don't know much about perfume ingredients what do you think is the best way to acquire more information interview people in the market in the post office or search for records in the post office alone hmm i mean again people would probably be the best idea um i would probably search for the records but uh, I think it's probably best to ask people face to face. I see. Thank you. I'll head out now. See, I'm so antisocial. I don't think I would ever like go and be like, hey, I'm bothering you. Can you teach me how to make a perfume? 
I'd be just too scared that they yell at me or something. Anyway, old Victor's got 10, arm, 10 more hours to search for a freaking plant or something, so... Awesome, I think that's all we got for today. All right, now it's time to take a look at the new trait wormhole. Uh, this comes from identity5art on twitter.com, so you can go check them out. Uh, they have access to the test server here. Again, the wormhole name is not finalized. It looks like they're calling it shape movement here, so I'm not really sure what's up with that. So I did see this clip already. It basically works like a, like a gate, let's see here. So they set it up, it's kind of like a merry mirror, and then you just kind of like walk through it, and then schneeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
That's like two seconds. That's like two seconds to travel through the whole thing. Gotcha. A single tap places it on the smaller distance. Uh, so... Okay, what's the point then? Each teleport has three seconds cooldown, so you can't... Yeah, you can't go back into it. That's what, that's what I mean. You can't get shoved right back into it then. Interesting. You can teleport twice, then the portals will disappear. Shnoom. And then three seconds. And shnoom. Apparently while placing it, you can skip the entrance if you keep going. Oh. So that's good for going back, I guess. But usually, I feel like you'd want to go through it almost every time. Is a tap server, they might change the animation speed later. Yeah, so I guess it does take like what? So it takes like uh, a half a second before you can even go through it. So it's not you can go through it immediately. That, that makes sense. Although that's useless. <laughs> that's useless, that's useless. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. That's that's goofy as heck. This seems interesting though. Be careful not to warp yourself away by accident. Oh, I see. Like, well, I'll ch in chase. Okay. Yeah, dude. Actually, no. This could this could be this. Okay. Okay. So in, I feel like in chase, you th this is gonna be extremely niche to use in chase, right? While you're in chase, I feel like again, this is gonna be a lot better for very specific hunter strategies. Um. Like, I'm already thinking, what if Mary uses her mirror and then goes through this thing? Like, where, like, you'll know where the mirror could be. You could get, like, an insanely good mirror from this. Like, I'm, I'm obviously, that's, like, top, top level stuff, but, like... Wait, I, you could do the same thing with fish, couldn't you? Attack animations won't trigger the tele... Oh, okay. Interesting. Well, only during the animation. So, once, it, once you end the attack... Okay, so you can charge attack through it. That's nice to know. Gotcha. So if you are using this in chase for some reason. Some characters can teleport while using their abilities. Dude, look, you could create such huge abysses with that. Some does not oh you can't you can't use wheel form through it. Okay, well honestly, I I can't even lie. This this ability feels like it sucks for, for wheel. Like why would you ever use a split on wheel? Yeah, no, this this ability sucks on wheel. Charging the animations will prevent the teleport as well. Oh, okay. Interesting. So does that mean if you hold like the breaking wheel trap or whatever? Dude, you can create such massive abysses with that so fast. Dude, oh my gosh, that's scary. No way. No way. Oh my gosh. Dude, there's gonna have to be so many tests. Dude! Yo, Coaster just got so less safe. Coaster just got so less safe if you have a wormhole. Oh my gosh, that's a free terror shock, bro. It's faster than the, that's literally a free terror. Dude, Coaster is so unsafe if they have wormhole. Co this, my wormhole with certain hunters might actually. Oh, she can dash through it. Interesting. The portal's lifetime is 30 seconds. Yeah, and you can. I believe you can cancel it whenever you want. Yeah, down down to the bottom right looks like you can cancel it, and. You can remove them manually by pressing the button. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yep. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. That's really interesting. Dude, I get coaster. I feel like that's a really good skill for Moonlit, though. Boop. So, wait. Hold on. I need to see this. No way. Oh, are they trying to do the mirror? Bro, that's funny. That is funny. Yo, clown? Hold on. Wait, can he dash? Oh, he probably can't dash through it, can he? No way. No. Oh, man. If he could, bro. If he could. Oh, if he could. I mean, you can just dash once you get out of it, but still. No way. Dude. Dude. Oh, this trait looks so cool. The trait will be available after 30 seconds. That's a pretty, that's pretty, well. No, you know what? That's actually fine because the thing is you're not going to get it down within 30 seconds, most likely. Then it will get in the 100 second cooldown. Okay, you see that, that is good and bad because the thing is like it's a short cooldown, but I feel like this is better for, um, you can either use it for chasing or for pressuring ciphers. Okay, that is, that is nice though. That is actually nice. I can see it. Or for camping. Oh, bro, this trait is cool. Whee! I mean, Opera could have just caught up regardless. She doesn't need this. Dang, dude. Three docks and a mind's eye. And we're playing the top tiers out here. 
Oh boy. Counter Cypher Rush with it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Boom. Yeah, pressure. Exactly. Pressuring Cyphers. Pressuring Cyphers. Dude. See, this is what I want to use it for. Exactly this. Because I, I hate chair guarding. I'm terrible at it. So while I'm waiting just for people to come in, you can just use this. The only issue is, like, your tray is going to be, uh, it's up to you how you use it. Yeah, exactly. And the thing is, you'll probably get to use it, like, four or five times per match. Oh, my gosh. The thing is, it's also non-committal. The thing, the thing, hold on, hold on. Before we continue, the thing is with teleport, it's so committal, right? Like, once you teleport, you, you can't go back. Like, wherever you were, if you were at the chair or whatever, and you teleport to a cypher to pressure it, you cannot go back. But with this ability, you can. It's like you get less range from it, but it's less committal. It's an extremely safe, but like pretty powerful trait if you ask me. Th this actually seems really good. I can't even lie. Like I I obviously I'm gonna have to play around with it, but like this ability seems really freaking good. Dude, that's so good. Oh my gosh. That that feels so that this fe this ability feels really powerful. I can't even lie. This this ability feels really really powerful. Um. Yo, are they the S1 Jack? Hold on. Um, do I have competition for my S1 Jack? And boop, back over here now. Bro. That's so good. Hold on, I, I guess now, now we just have some gameplay here of it. Let's see here. So, where do we got? It's obviously, oh, okay. She already used it, but this is her pressuring cypher. So she can go back through, back to the chair. And boop. Yep, that's literally just there to pressure ciphers. Yep. There to pressure ciphers, dude. Oh, and she can backflip back to where she was. Th oh my gosh. Dude. That's crazy. Little, okay, little, it has the same. Uh, oops. It has the same cooldown as teleport, but like. Man. I wonder how this works with coordinator gun. Like, what, what, happen, what happens if Cord shoots the gun and then you walk through it? Does it follow you? Where does the gun go? I kind of want to know. Does it will follow you? Will it just follow you no matter what? But like, it probably won't hit you because there'll be like a thousand things in the way. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm actually so curious about this thing. And like, what, what, oh my gosh. What, what hunters could use it the best too? This feels like a really good trait. I actually really want to see this in like tournament or something. Like top players use this. Cause like, I can, I, I'm already like theory crafting like what things can work. Mm -hmm. Like with nine, I feel like you can create a giant abyss because the thing is nine's always creating like triangles, right? But I feel like you can create squares with this, right? Because you, you move one direction, then you move another direction, then you set up your thing and you have a giant square. Because the thing is you're going to automatically recall the trident. But I guess geometry, I don't know. I guess with geometry you probably wouldn't be able to. I don't know. I feel like you could create a massive abyss really fast with Nyad. Um, obviously you would be using up your trait, but like... You can create a massive abyss really fast for chair guarding. And then like, you know, make it really dangerous for people to rescue. I don't I don't know, dude. I, I I'm so curious to see how this is gonna work. I, I don't even know what what characters. What characters is to be good on? Boop. Back we go. Okay, I think I think I got the gist of it. I think I got the gist of it. So what hunters could actually like use this properly? Helember can use it, Smiley can probably use it. I feel like I like I, I feel like it's not that great on Smiley though, because he just dashes. It could be. Uh, Ripper could use it. I don't feel like Geisha should use it. I don't feel like Photographer should use this. Feaster. Feaster, this could be good because you're usually camping as Feaster. So yeah, I, I feel like it could be good on Feaster. Uh, obviously, I think he wants Patroller still instead, so maybe not, but there, there's, a, there's a possibility you could um, you, you could use it for Feaster. Uh, Violinist, maybe. Nyad, I definitely think so. Nightmare. I don't know about Nightmare. I mean, he already has a teleport, so I, I don't know. Clerk. I don't know about Clerk either, because she could already pressure Cypher's while she's at the chair. Hmm. I don't know about Clerk. Nightwatch, I think a big yes. Fool's Gold. I don't know. He's too new. Uh, the Bainster. Probably, actually. I think I think the Bainster could use this well. Soul Weaver, I think, could use this insanely well. I, don't, I just have a weird feeling that she could use it insanely well. Wu Chang, he can already, already he already has to teleport Umbrella, but I feel like he could potentially use it. Mad Eyes, I don't know, I don't know about Mad Eyes, because he already has enough map pressure, so I don't, I don't feel like he could use this well. Dream Witch is a maybe because like I don't know how far her followers extend, so she's kind of a maybe. Axe Boy, he's pretty standard, so I'd say Axe Boy can can use it well. Uh, Lucino probably doesn't need it because he just has the jumps. 
Mary could use this with the mirrors. Bon Bon, a camping hunter, could obviously use this to pressure Cyphers and go back and camp. Um, Anne 100% can use this. Oh, I feel like she'd be annoying with it. Oh, uh, Anne could be really annoying with it because like if she pressure Cyphers then, oh my gosh. This just this gives her more map presence, and that's what the biggest thing that Anne lacks is map presence. So this this could be really good on Anne. Uh, Sculptor can pressure ciphers while she's at the chair, but only in like a weird kind of awkward way. Um, but I, I think she could use it. She could definitely use it. Uh, about Percy, I don't know about Percy. Uh, I'm gonna say no for Percy because he can't really chair. He can't really like camp. So honestly, I'm gonna say no for Percy. Um, I feel like Percy's better to teleport to Cyphers, specifically. I, I mean, he can use it, but I, I doubt it's going to be useful, right? I doubt it's going to be useful. Um, Wheel, definitely not. Uh, wax Artist, definitely. This could be really good for going, not only pressuring Cyphers, but waxing them off and then going back to chair. I feel like this could be insane for Wax Artist. Hermit, yeah, Hermit could use this. Hermit could definitely use this. Opera Singer is a big maybe because she's already dummy fast, but... Um, she basically already kind of has that in her base kit because she has a little teleport back, but um, I guess it could be helpful for her a little bit while that's on cooldown or something. I don't know. It would just give her more range and more presence like in an area to, to be threatening with. So yeah, there, there's a good amount of hunters that look like they could use it. I'm curious to see how it's going to work, honestly. And I think that's going to be it for today, everybody. Sorry, this is a bit more of a shorter video, but... Uh, uh, we have a lot of Koa stuff that we have to do later today. I just checked out Koa Day 4 yesterday, Japan qualifiers, and not only was Novelist for the first time played in tournament, uh, but so was Fool's Gold. So we're, we're getting some pretty exciting matches. If you want to check them out, I'll be streaming them later today. And well, I think throughout the rest of this week, there's going to be a lot of Koa content uh, since there's going to be a lot of uh, tournaments and streams going on at the same time. So um, get ready for a lot of Koa content this week and probably the next week as well, because we'll have a lot of matches to review and catch up on. So I'm sorry if you're not a big fan of watching comp footage, but during the Koa season, that's just kind of what I want to, you know, focus on since it's like the big tournament. It's Koa. We, we, we got to check it out, right? We got to check it out. So yeah, we'll still have our regular scheduled stuff in there, but a lot of it is going to be Koa. So yeah, thanks for watching everybody. I do appreciate it as always. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.